this is recording, and there's Laura and Grandma. We're going to record Adam, and he's now standing down, waiting to jump on the double bar. We were very involved in both of our boys and supported everything I think they did. I, I arranged uh, my work schedules so that I could be, not only be at their, whatever they participated in, but also be part of it. And all of our vacations were spent together. We took our boat down to Lake Powell, and almost all of our big family vacations were together. Right there, Logan. Logan, come jump. Adam was an elite level gymnast for several years, and we had been to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs because he had numerous um, events, competitions, training at the Olympic Training Center, which is also in Colorado Springs. So while there, we had taken trips to the Air Force Academy. I think it was just something he thought of. It was never something we discussed. Um, I'm not prior military. And so he, he brought up the idea of becoming a Marine. And Laura and I were like, okay. That was his idea for a couple of years. Then he got into a little trouble in high school. I felt like we had a very wonderful, open relationship. I think that he thinks that he was pulling more of the wool over my eyes than he really was. He invited his buddies to drink beer and smoke weed in his gymnasium. They got caught, they got busted. And then when he was grounded, I was in his bedroom downstairs and I went in there with my walker and I laid on the floor beside of his bed. And I said, if you think you're gonna crawl over my body and crawl out that window tonight to party with your friends, I'm gonna kick your ass with my crippled legs. A couple years later, when he decided to stop doing gymnastics, um, there were a lot of those telltale signs about someone's now doing something they're not supposed to be doing, whether it was drugs or alcohol. He's got a very addictive personality, whether it's, whether it's a substance or whether it's just motivation to do something or achieve something. He gets driven by um, an addiction to succeed. You know, he got himself back together. He uh, finished high school early, took extra classes to catch up and get ahead. And then in, in preparing to go into the military, he had a friend um, that had actually graduated a year earlier. And Adam, having been an elite level athlete, they got together and worked out together. And they both went in physically absolutely ready to be a Marine. And so you could tell that he had kind of gotten back on course of being motivated to do something. And as far as we knew, he had kind of given up those drug habits that he had tried out before. Well, obviously you fear for his life because he's gonna put himself in harm's way, but it's in the back of your mind. You know, I hope he get he's, got, he's on this deployment and we, we sure hope he comes home and in one piece. When your kid goes in the Marines and is, and is engaged in a battle and, and deployed to a combat situation, you can't help but think that that could happen. He, he called, uh, I remember it was toward the evening time. Laura and I were just, I think I helped her in the bathtub. And so when I answered, he said, hey dad, and went right into it. Didn't hesitate, he said, I, I've been injured, but I'm totally okay. Right away I handed the phone to Laura because I knew she would be more able to understand what exactly his injuries were. He got home over Christmas break and I was sitting in the driveway in my wheelchair. The whole community, friends, family, I wrapped my arms around him. I don't need to hug you. <laughs> See how much I rank? I love Adam and Logan and my husband, Dave. They are my life. And uh, I would love to see Adam be himself again. I want him to find some motivation and excitement for life outside of the Marine Corps. Laura and I are constantly trying to be an example in terms of what kind of contentment and joy you can find in your life with a religious value. Whether he finds it or not, doesn't matter. What does matter is that his soul finds some joy and contentment in life. <laughs>